Alrighty, LeroyDiesel.com coming to you again. This is part two of the Harlan Sharp Roller Rocker Arms. Uh, the last video was literally taken no more than five minutes ago and uh, in that video I gave a couple options for getting this fixed and uh, one of the options was I was talking about I was going to actually grind the head portion right here to give me clearance on that washer and I got to thinking about that and I thought the more I thought about it, it was a bad idea this is a, a brand new motor um, you know I didn't want to be grinding on it and creating shavings that would get right down in that valve spring and take me forever to mask it off and prep it just so I could grind it and all of that so what I did do is I'm getting ready to show you on the uh, on this uh, second one but on this first one what I did is I actually ground like I told you in the first video that one of the options was to grind on these retainers these half C retainers that go underneath the head of the bolt and what that does is it allow by grinding on this side only it allows everything to move that way just a few thousands and so now I don't know if you can hear that but I've got a couple thousands play in there and you can see that it's freed up now both both of them are freed up and obviously these are but so that's nice and free I just basically took a couple thousands off there and I'll be doing the same thing here but this one I have not done and you can see that it's still just basically rock solid I, I could probably get a screwdriver in there and make it move but you know don't want to do that so let me grab so all you've got to do is remove that one one bolt and then that's the little piece of C retainer support that I was talking about it sits on top of the rocker arm shaft I'll just put that back in there temporarily uh, the other thing that you can do is loosen this one and then kind of move the whole assembly over that way to get you as much uh, relief off of this washer and the head as possible I've made the, going back to this side I again I ground this and there's still no contact between that washer and the head so I think that's going to be the simplest and the quickest the easiest cure one of the other options I forgot to mention in the first video is I think I gave three options to fix this one being grind the head one being grind the support and uh, what was oh and then grinding the uh, spacer the fourth option would be Harlan Sharp Harlan Sharp is actually willing to take care of this they're going to stand up behind this and if you want them to they will send you another spacer that's a couple few thousandths shorter narrower um, and that'll give you that clearance back too uh, but for what I'm getting ready to show you with a bench grinder uh, you may want to do this option and don't have to wait on the mail and all that and it fixes the problem so I'm going to walk over here to my piece of junk uh, bench grinder you want to put the edge as flat against the side of the stone as possible and uh, I, that should be pretty straight and then um, just go to town on it just keep it level go slow Try to keep that adapter or that uh, support as level and as true as possible. Okay, the thing's already getting too hot for me to handle. So I'm going to cool it down. And uh, then I wipe it off real good uh, with a with a rag and uh, before you put that back on that shaft you want to make sure before the final assembly that you make sure that you get any burrs or anything off of that you could take uh, some emery cloth and just smooth up the uh, grinding because you're going to have 
an edge that you create here I've ground that surface I'm trying to talk with one hand but right here on that surface you're going to have little burr right there where my finger my middle finger is moving that one and you're gonna have a slight burr there so you want to get some memory cloth or something to knock that off but just for test purposes what I did is I, I went back and forth to the grinder maybe three maximum four times and did that procedure I just showed you uh, you want to put the ground side towards the center see if that'll stay there for a second yeah so the side that you just ground you want against the middle rocker arm because that's the side you're trying to clearance and so that everything can slide this way I won't bore you with all the details from this point on but basically you would tighten both of these down again and then start trying to uh, test fit and see how they work right now it's not tight so I can move these around uh, but as soon as I tighten that down before it was locked up solid so the whole purpose of this is to obviously free those up and again this one's free nice and pretty nice and pretty looking good looking good so to me I think that's going to be the simplest cure uh, again Harlan Sharp will handle that and they will send you the correct part um, if you want to wait on mail and all that kind of good stuff um, I'm trying to get this thing in here in about the next two weeks so um, it'll, it would probably take that long to uh, get that part back but if you're not in a hurry they will get, get you taken care of any questions let me know bye